Hello race fans and welcome to Baku City Circuit here in Azerbaijan for the 2023 Azerbaijan Grand Prix qualifying session here in the sunny city. Let's see what our drivers can do around this twisty technical circuit. And here's your practice report for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Keiro Watanabe looks to be on the front foot. He has... He was at 10th behind Lewis Hamilton, and he was on the medium tires. Mick Schumacher, though, struggling in the same car. And in practice two, Watanabe and Bottas were in a league of their own, over a second ahead of the rest of the field, and Watanabe finished in the top three in, the, in practice three, while Mick Schumacher down in ninth. So there's surely some form that Watanabe will show. Here's the setup he was running, and the Toyota driver will be hoping for a recent turn of form after the last two races ending in DNFs. This time Toyota identified it as the control electronics. A little concerning as the teams are only allowed two of those parts before they have to incur a penalty. And once again Toyota has no idea why the failure has occurred. They brought some a slew of reliability upgrades though, along with a rear downforce upgrade. Sunny skies anticipated for the race. However, Ferrari, Pip, Toyota and Toyota fall down as they're unable to bring in new upgrades as they're struggling to figure out the reliability. And Daniel Ricciardo is already out of the session just as it starts of a mechanical failure that's so unfortunate. Down to start finish straight, DRS wide open, Watanabe just has to put his foot to the floor and see what time he can put up as he crosses the line and he tops the session at 138.2. And Watanabe doesn't go out again, but Max Verstappen is the only one who can challenge that time. Only four hundredths ahead though, and Mick Schumacher only just made it into the top 10, but George Russell, an amazing lap, puts him into Q2. Heading down towards the downhill turn of turn 15, Watanabe a little late on the brakes, clatters the curb, and he hits the wall, and that's surely going to be some front wing damage on this run. Barreling towards the line on a medium compound tire, Watanabe not wanting to make the same mistake in Portugal, P5. Down towards the line, Watanabe really determined to set up a good lap time. No improvements, Watanabe's been on those mediums. Is it worth grinding those tires to the asphalt as he's losing grip of every successive run he does? And that is not going to help either. He's being really impeded by the Alpine of Esteban Ocon. And surely, while he does get the move done, that is not going to help his lap time. And Watanabe just barely makes it into Q3 on the mediums and Schumacher on the softs. But there's a slew of drivers on the mediums. So unlike Portugal, Watanabe will not be at a disadvantage. Down towards the line. Watanabe, really good. And that's very good lap time. Barreling down towards the line, Watanabe. He's got a purple second sector, a tenth ahead of the rest of the field, crosses the line, where's that put him? And that puts him second, a tenth behind Lewis Hamilton and pole. So Watanabe unable to get a pole position at Azerbaijan once again, but he looks very fast here in qualifying. Mick Schumacher down in ninth, but Watanabe is surely going to hope to make up some places against Hamilton. We wanted excitement, we wanted some surprises, but I don't think the drivers expected Mother Nature to be a factor in this forecast throwing out the window. It is pouring rain here at Baku City Circuit here in Azerbaijan for the 2023 Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And this is going to throw all strategy, all predictions into the mud as we look and see for a rainy start. And let's look at the city circuit we got here in an orthodox shape. Lots of tight 90 degree corners in the first sector. The castle section. Be careful not to put it in the wall like Charles Leclerc did in 2019. And of course, who can't forget the long start finish straight where a DRS pass just amplifies how easy it is to follow in the slipstream. And here we are onto the starting grid and all the drivers will be running dry setups, but in the wet conditions. There, the radar suggests that the rain will pass over the circuit eventually and we, can, we could see some dry running but the drivers with no practice in the wet around a circuit where the walls are so close the turns are so tight this is going to be a humongous challenge and a test for the drivers to see if they can try and make some moves and adapt to their the new breaking points and here we go here's to the starting grid for the azerbaijan grand prix and lewis hamilton gets pole position but kato watanabe after a run of terrible luck in the last few races is on the front row can he finally get a, a win and prove that he every time he finishes he wins verstappen third bottas fourth Sainz fifth and sergio perez in p6 and it's lando north seventh charles leclerc eighth 
Mix Schumacher 9th, the Fernando Alonso finishes our top 10. Esteban Ocon 11th, Pierre Gasly 12th, Lance Stroll 13th, and his teammate Sebastian Vettel in 14th, then Giovinazzi 15th, Russell 16th, Nicholas Latifi 17th, and Yuki Tsunoda down in 18th place. And it's Marino Salta 19th, Joe Guan Yu 20th, Mazepin 21st, and Daniel Ricciardo at the back of the grid after failing to set a qualifying time after a mechanical failure in Q1. Here we go. The driver's going to have to be on the edge of their toes to see if they can make the first corner. It's five red lights. The drivers are so scared. It's pedal to the metal, foot to the floor, and it's a tentative start from all our drivers. This is the first wet running they've done besides the formation lap, and Watanabe's got a slow start off the line. Hamilton gets off the line well, and Watanabe squeezes Verstappen out and retains second position, but Hamilton is edging his gap. The Mercedes driver, so good in conditions like these. Let's look at the race start. Over these last two races, Watanabe's had some brilliant starts, but on the wet, there's no dry line on that part of the track, and the drivers haven't been running on that side of the track. So, of course he's going to lose grip, and you can see Max Verstappen here actually gets by him in the, in the initial two phases of the start, but Watanabe just slips down the inside and squeezes Verstappen towards the exit curb. Into turn 15 we go, Watanabe, and he clatters the curve, and he hits the wall, and it is surely some front wing damage for the Toyota, and his run of bad form continues. Let's look at the replay here. You can see the breaking points are not the same as in the dry. You have to break so much earlier to accommodate for the wet track surface, and Watanabe doesn't really help himself either. If you look at the replay, he actually clatters that inside curb. It is a raised curb, so it does shift the car's balance as you're not able to control and have the minimal traction and contact at the ground. And Watanabe enters the pit lane, so he's going to be relegated to the back of the grid on after suffering some front wing damage. Of course, we can't maybe accept the fact that it is harder to adapt to a track that you've only driven in dry conditions, but Watanabe is surely going to be inflicted as he gets a front wing change, and he puts on some med intermediate tires! All the drivers are on the full wet! The rain is supposed to be le lessening in the coming laps, so has Toyota just decided to throw caution to the wind and simply go for a gamble onto intermediate tires? Is the track dry enough to run these tires amidst the deluge of water? We'll have to wait and see. Barreling towards the line, Watanabe has been looking really fast, and all the drivers are pitting onto intermediates. So that little clatter of the wall from with Watanabe has actually proven to be a bit of a godsend. Toyota has thrown themselves back into the mix of this race as Watanabe makes it up into the top 10 once again after one lap of running. Onto the intermediates he goes, and those tires are going to be warmed up in comparison to the rest of the field. The rest of the wet tire runners are pitting now. Watanabe barrels down the start finish straight into turn one. He has to be very careful. But once again, he's missed his breaking point. He goes off, and fair goes Fernando Alonso down the inside and may pips the position from the Toyota driver. But how long can Alonso hold on for Watanabe? It just looked so much in control. Aside from those two little slip-ups of breaking points, the grip he has on the on his older intermediates are somehow gaining more traction. He's in the slipstream of Fernando Alonso. No DRS at this part of the track with the wet rain. Down the inside goes Watanabe. Fernando Alonso gets a better traction out of the corner. Watanabe pulls a switcheroo into turn four. And down the inside he goes again, pushing Alonso towards the wall. They're scrapping. This is side-by-side -side battling. This is immensely impressive. Down the inside, Fernando Alonso goes into the tight chicane of five and six, and Watanabe gets managed, just manages to stay ahead, and that is some cracking racing from the Japanese driver. Down the start finish straight we go, and Lewis Hamilton is in the slipstream of Mick Schumacher, riding high in P5 at the moment. But here we go, Hamilton going to try to go around the outside of the Toyota driver. Mick Schumacher defends on the inside, squeezes Hamilton towards the exit curve. They're still side by side. We're seeing Schumacher v Hamilton, though it is... It was his father back when he was racing for Mercedes. Hamilton now alongside. They're going down to start finish straight. No indication of who's leading. This is going to be a drag race to turn four. Tur turn three, apologies. Let's see who gets up ahead. They're still side by side. What a cracking battle the Toyota drivers are showing. And there goes Watanabe in the background. He's catching up to the two. Hamilton gets the move done on Schumacher. But that was an impressive side by side battle. Down the straight he goes, goes Watanabe. Schumacher just a little bit ahead. And Watanabe is struggling though. The grip on his tires has, has slowly gone away. And here goes Sergio Perez. He's been quick all weekend. 
down the start finish straight. He doesn't need DRS, and that is an easy pass on the Toyota driver. Uh, the Toyota driver is pitting. He's pitting at the end of this lap. It, the track does look slightly drier, but is it worth going onto a set of dries? Will Toyota pull the gamble again? And Schumacher's in. Schumacher's in. Has Watanabe pulled a bit of a strategy blunder? He's going to be double stacking behind his teammate. He's going to lose so much time as the pit crew slap on. What is that tire set? It looks like another set of intermediate tires. Watanabe's in. And those are the yellow wall tires. So Watanabe's made a strategic decision on track to go onto the dry compound. And the FIA have enabled DRS. That is an inspired move by the Toyota driver. And now, those immediate, that, which means that the dry compound tires will be the faster tire. Close up to Nichols Latifi. A bit of contact. He's all over the rear diffuser of that Williams. Through turn 15 and Latifi on those intermediates gets out of the way knowing that Watanabe is running a different race and Watanabe is showing the dry tires are the tire to be on. Down the start finish straight we go and once again drivers are pitting. Everyone's pitting. Where are they going to pit onto? They're going to pit onto, yes, the medium tires and Watanabe has inspired the drivers to show that dry tires are the way to go. Closing up to Sebastian Vettel and the Aston Martin driver still on those intermediates is a sitting duck. Watanabe doesn't even need DRS. The medium tire, the dry compound is the way to go. Watanabe goes across the line and sets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. And that means Toyota has pulled the strategic masterclass. Two purple sectors. Ricardo says the fastest lap, but Watanabe snatches that back. Three seconds up on his previous time, showing that the track is not only drying, but rubbering in to the dry compound. The sun is out. This is a stark contrast to how he started this race. And Watanabe sets another fastest lap, 1.7 seconds. He is absolutely flying right now. Crosses the line, another fastest lap from Watanabe in the third sector. That engine power really coming through. And there you go, Sergio Perez. A spit, a cloud of smoke billows from the rear of that Red Bull. And Perez is going to be immensely disappointed with that. He's showing such good pace around this circuit. He is very good around this circuit. However, this time in 2023, Perez is out of the race. What a shame. Look at the replay through the sweeping right to left of 18 and 19. And just there, yeah, the engine just goes off. Japanese power, both Toyota and Honda, have shown to be quite defective this season in terms of reliability. A lot of Reliability failure for some of our drivers in that. It's very close. Oh, the power. Power off to that the power. Closing in, Watanabe absolutely flying. He's on older tires, but yet he's still managing to keep up with the Ferrari of Leclerc. Ferrari past Toyota in the pecking order, but Watanabe is going to pass Leclerc on track. The pecking order means nothing if you. In the end, because on track is where the speed is dictated. Downey outside of turn three around the outside gets so close to the wall. And that is a brilliant move by Watanabe up at the P6. Let's look at the replay. You can see here just how close Watanabe gets to that wall. Leclerc gives him a bit of a squeeze onto the fence, but holds the inside. And that is an audacious move from Watanabe. No fear as Leclerc tries to put the elbows out on the exit, but Watanabe just managed to slip on through. Final lap, Verstappen started on the second row. He starts in the, on the front. It is Max Verstappen takes the Azerbaijan Grand Prix and his first win of 2023. Yes, yes. Unbelievable, Max. Unbelievable. That was a supreme drive strategy Played well, and Lando Norris takes P2, his first podium of the year. Okay, mate, I need purple Hey, we just got another podium. Hey, would have thought. And for anyone who loves Carl Lando, Carlos Sainz seals the deal with Ferrari, P3. That was a smooth operator. Smooth operation. And this is our first podium that hasn't had a Mercedes on it all year, oh, except Imola, that is. And, well, Watanabe, P6, regardless of the error in the first lap, he has made a spectacular recovery drive to inspired strategy calls, but Max Verstappen was able to hold on to the race win 
amidst the changing conditions and that was a stellar drive. McLaren and Ferrari will be celebrating their respective podiums, their first of the year. Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas that will have some questions to the strategy team. But Daniel Ricciardo, take a bow. That is an amazing recovery drive from the Australian driver. Kato Watanabe upends his teammate Mick Schumacher over in the, in the driver's championship. Verstappen pips Valtteri Bottas, but nothing changes in the constructors' championship. Max Verstappen is reigns supreme in Austria, in Azerbaijan. But we head to Canada next, the Montreal circuit for the Canadian Grand Prix next time out. And hopefully we can see some good form from everyone there. But that's it from us. Thank you for joining us and we will see you next time.